Hello everyone, Romain Gaujean here and I've got a few questions to answer for you. Life in the US and Miami is great. Uh, it was a little bit too hot in the summer, but apart from that, life is great. Uh, kids are very happy. I am happy. Uh, so just uh, enjoying a break from IndyCar and uh, doing a bit of sim racing. Yes, yes, I think the season was uh, quite interesting. Um, not quite the result we wanted, but I think through the end of the season, we made some really good progress with the car. Got it to a point where I felt co comfortable with it on short ovals, on street course, and on road course. So I'm actually quite excited for the next season. Uh, I think we're going to have a very good baseline, and uh, we should be able to uh, fight at the front, uh, hopefully at every race. Racing in the US is pretty different from Europe. I just feel the mentality is quite different here. And, uh, you know, uh, just just two, two types of, of different racing here. Everyone is happy to come to the race. And even, you know, if you're 10, 20 laps down, doesn't really matter. You keep going and you keep racing. So kind of kind of different in that aspect. Um, a little bit more uh, friendly, family oriented, I would say, compared to Europe. No, sadly not. I because of the busy season, the move, and everything going on, I haven't got much time to uh, to do sim racing. But hopefully, I'll be back behind the wheel very soon. Um, I think eSport racing is definitely a really good place right now. It's it's growing, and there's more and more championship coming in. There's more and more constructor coming in. So I'm quite excited with with the way it goes. After the pandemic, we had a bit of a you know time uh, down, but now it's just it's just coming back up. Uh, every team is going more professional. Uh, every, team, every team is getting better. Every constructor is getting involved. There's more and more professional championship uh, coming on. Uh, World DX is one. Uh, Le Mans Virtual is another one. F1 is sport, obviously. Um, the other big games on Gran Turismo that we uh, had uh, for the last edition in Tokyo. So pretty excited with all of that. The team is, is doing really good. Uh, we've managed to secure some very good driver. Uh, we've been competing and at the highest level on, on a lot of platform. So I'm very happy with all the progress for IG Esports. I think our guys are doing very good in the world, the X as well. They've been very competitive. Um, they, they're up there at the front always. So uh, that's, that's really cool to, to see. Acer is, is our biggest partner since the beginning of the foundation of the team uh, through Predator. Uh, they've been here for us since the beginning. They've been giving us the top technology, type of computer, in terms of support, everything we need. Uh, we've got it, so you know we don't have any excuse on the material side. We've got everything that uh, we need to have to go fast, and, and that's exactly what you want from a partner like Acer. Of course, I've, I've been following the World EX, obviously. I follow every race for the team, uh, always uh, behind, you know, behind, but uh, not saying much, but following everything. Oval racing is very different. It's just like mountain biking and, and road biking, right? Um, it is the same difference that you can you can find in both of those. So uh, oval is very different, but um, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, at the beginning, I was a bit skeptical, but no, I just uh, absolutely love it. Well, the fan can expect uh, for the World EX uh, Indy RAG Ace of Vero Grand Prix a hell of a show. It is an amazing racetrack, that Indianapolis 500 racetrack. Uh, there's so much going on in the race. Uh, it's all, you know, it's not so much about, about your driving. It's more about what you're thinking and, and your car balance and how you can use it to uh, make sure that you make the move at the right place. You know, you don't want to necessarily lead the field. You want to be the one taking the the slipstream for the end of the lap and, and getting it done so uh it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting i can't wait to watch it i think the climate message is very important sustainability message is very important for all of us we all have our duties you know obviously as a race car driver i'm not doing the best job in the world to uh, protect the planet but we entertain people uh, in a good way so on my uh on my daily life, I just try to uh, to do things a little bit differently. If I can use my bicycle instead of taking my car to go to a meeting, I'll do that. Uh, if I can walk or run, do or, you know anything just to to help the world with my little uh, footprint, I'll I'll do it. I just you know I think it's in it's in every details. Bring your plastic bag or bring your shopping bag to the the shopping center. Don't get plastic bags. That's something in the US that. Uh, that is not yet very developed. So I always try to carry my shopping bag when I go to the, the shopping center, just small details like this. But if everyone does those small details, it's gonna be a big difference at the end. 
Uh, yes, I've been driving electric car in my real life. Uh, they're quite uh, they're quite nice actually. Very very uh, quiet. Uh, very nice. The range is still a bit of an issue, uh, especially in the US with such a big country. Uh, the distances are huge, so sometimes you're a little bit blocked. But uh, electric cars are quite fun. Uh, they're powerful. They're doing great. Uh, but I still think like uh, the, the batteries need to be uh, improved a little bit for it to be uh, our next uh, our next cars.